y'all. Today is Monday, the 31st of May. Can you believe June is right tomorrow? Oh my goodness. Well, let me update y'all. Oh my goodness. I did not feel like making... I wanted to make a video, but then I didn't want to be negative. Because my channel is not about negativity, but it's just real, you know? Basically what happened, you guys know I worked five days straight last week. Basically 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. Except on Saturday, except on Friday, I worked from 7 to 1. The last part of my shift, like the last 30 minutes, everything was going good until somebody said something. And they didn't say anything in a negative way, but you know, we as people, sometimes we take things out of context. And I will say with my depression, it's even heightened. I feel like right now, everybody's against me. Everything that somebody says is negative. So I took it to, I took, I didn't take it to heart, but it made me really upset. What ended up happening, basically, we are so short staffed, okay? A lot of places are short staffed and I just think that we have to be kind to each other and we just never know what each other is going through so I will say say things in the kindest way possible because you just never know how somebody else is going to take things and it's just that so so many emotions are going on and yeah I will say I had two days to really relax Saturday and Sunday and I came in today. I broke down crying before I w walked in to Kohl's. And just because I just felt like, what am I doing here? I'm not even good at this job, you know, because of the conversation, the comment that the person made. And basically, they just told me to ask for help if I need help. But I didn't take it that way. I took it a totally different way, but I had time with my depression y'all I just have to really reassess things and understand that people are not out to get me she meant it like Candace hey things are about to go past due if you need help just ask for it but I'm just so busy that it's hard for me to even ask for help that's basically what ended up happening but today's a new day y'all I will say I'm not gonna lie I did a lot a lot of emotional eating I wanted to quit I'm like I'm not going back to Kohl's people don't appreciate me for ten dollars an hour this is what <laughs> this is what's going through my head you know so I will say I did a lot of emotional eating and a lot of sleeping your girl was fed up I was just fed up but at the same time I feel worthless I feel like crap I feel huge and I had somebody comment on one of my videos of course I blocked them but they was just like nobody's not gonna tell you the truth that you just need to lose weight to be happy basically that's what the comment was depression doesn't doesn't mean if I lose weight I'm gonna be happy I've been dealing with this since I was a little girl and for a lot of people their weight their financial status that has nothing to do with depression it's just a mental unbalance you know but i was just like why do i even put stuff onto youtube for people like that to even have access to comment but at the same time like it just makes me sometimes want to give up because i'm like i'm not here to be criticized i'm here to share but that's what comes with the territory and i'm it doesn't bother me that there's stupidity out there but you know some days are better than others and it was just when that happened I was just like when I read that I was just like are you serious if y'all ever see a rude comment please report it I ain't got time for no no stupidity on my channel here I am just trying to share ups and downs and there's you know trolls <laughs> let's just say that trolls online that don't understand stuff but they they'll be the first ones to comment something like something's like that easy to fix if that was something so easy to fix then your girl would be a little skinny little thing but i'm not okay 
Huh, so I just got out of colds, but I just wanted to update y'all that your girl has not been feeling the best. I've been taking things out of context. I've been very miserable. Very miserable. And, but you know what? You know what? Your girl woke up for work today. Your girl woke up for work today. I'm glad it was just a four hour shift. People were nicer today. And not, not to say that she wasn't nice before, but you know, I think she really, probably cause how I left off that conversation, I was, she knew I was just like fed up, but you just never know what somebody's going through. But she was like, if you need help, just let me know. You know, it, it was something, to, and how she did it today was totally different and I appreciated it. But at the same time, I'm like, girl, Candace, you need to calm down you need to calm down because at every job there's going to be somebody there's going to be somebody you just can't be like i'm just going to quit you're not a quitter you know you're you're a go-getter you you do things but things are not always fun and games but just to say that i don't doc uh document my depression for views I don't do it to ask for help I do it just to share and give an insight into what's what it looks like because on the outside you people can never tell that a person has depression or deals with anxiety you know and it's just nice it's just good to just be polite to everybody you know Oh, I gotta cook. I need to go to uh, my plans today. Now that I'm off of work and I don't have work tomorrow, I need to do laundry. So my plan is to do laundry today. I need to actually cook, cook that chicken that I made. Hopefully, I make it make something today. I need to go to Walmart and get like um. I need to go to Walmart and get like some new seasoning some seasoning for the chicken because i just need something different y'all it's a nice day outside i will say that i didn't get to go to any water of course on my days off it just rained saturday and sunday it rained go figure i just knew it you know when you have a, a couple days off to yourself that's when everything just wants to go downhill yeah but I need to get a game plan together, y'all, to do better, to be nice to myself and not to not to beat myself up and know that, you know, I'm just going through something right now and things will get better eventually, eventually. But I hope you guys are well and I just wanted to update y'all because I really made two videos, but for in the back of my mind... I'm like, people are going to view this as negative. But I'm just talking in real life that a lot of places are short-staffed. So the employees are feeling very, very stressed out on top of the managers, you know. And it's not fair for somebody to, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I just deleted the videos because I'm like, this is not me. But when I when I listened to it, it didn't sound bad. But I was like, at the same time, this is not how I want to come off <laughs> either. So it was just me just talking about us being short-staffed. And, you know, people are stressed. You know, people don't get paid enough for what they deal with. Let's put it like that. But it's okay, y'all. It's okay. All right. Let's hopefully we have a good week this week. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, last week was a good week too. Last week was a good week too. But the only thing was just that last 30 minutes of my shift turned my day upside down. And I was just like, your girl pulled through for five days straight. And at the last minute, somebody got to say something to tear me down. <laughs> That's how I took it. Y'all was just like, are you serious? Are you serious? But I'm smiling now. Cause I know it wasn't that serious but I hope you guys are well and yeah sorry I keep saying that you know my brain's all over the place I will talk with you guys soon okay bye